Hello and welcome back to a page-by-page -page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today, page 416. Uh, we ended page 415 on a high note. We continue that high note of victory and of overcoming overwhelming odds in reviewing pages. Also, Dune continues. Uh, page 415 was not page 416. Uh, and that's that's a good thing. It's good to be different at times. Um, Gurney tries to suss out some more information about the Fremen from Tuik, uh, inquiring if that's a place that he could live with. Um, Tuik is kind of demeaning. He seems to be hiding something about the Fremen and how uh, they uh, barely scrap a life in the desert. Uh, Gurney says that those men, uh, the Fremen, uh, killed Harkonnens. And then uh, and Tuix like, yeah, and they're dying because of it. They have no shields, and they're being hunted down in the desert with las guns. Also, uh, Tuix says that they, the mercenaries have their own siege. They carve it out, and they use the Fremen as spice hunters. Um, Gurney contends with the idea that uh, it's just Harkonnens and suggests that there are rumors that there were Sardaukar or Imperial troops that the Fremen brought down. And uh, we see him insinuating that the Sardaukar are using las guns and excessive force of pogrom uh, to kill the Fremen, which is too wasteful for a Harkonnen band. And so it's alluding to the fact that the, that the Sardaukar are trying to purge this fighting force that was strong enough to stand up to them, something that uh, we had learned in the past that if Leto had been able to harness, would have given him one of the strongest fighting forces in the universe. Um, anyways, keep reading Dune by Frank Herbert tomorrow for 17th.